If you're lying, you must be half stepping. Ain't no half stepping, Marcus J. We are back for another another great show. GlobalScaleRadio.com 804-447-0601. Ain't no half stepping, Marcus J. Big Ruben Carlton Banks and special guest is in the building. Mama J is here with us tonight. Got a great, great, great show for y'all. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us tonight. We're going to get into a whole lot of stuff starting with our greetings. I always want to know how my fellas did uh, this weekend, every single week when we get into it. On Ain't No Half Stab and Marcus J. Of course, we're going to do our sports roundup. That's something that we started last week. We're going to probably do that every week, at least uh, for the next few weeks. See how that goes. See how you guys like that. Uh, then, of course, we'll get into the NBA with your man K-Dub. who will be joining us uh, momentarily. Uh, as we do every single week, we'll be profiling a missing and or exploited child. Uh, so we'll be doing that. And then, of course, this week we want to know what the hell, what the hell you think about the stories that we're going to get into tonight. So that's Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J for today, Tuesday. Uh, April 17, 2012. Time right now is about two minutes after seven. Uh, and the first thing I want to do, like I do every single week, I want to know how my homies did this weekend since I last saw them. I haven't seen them. Sometimes we get together on the weekends after the show. Uh, we check in with each other. But I haven't seen these brothers since we walked out the studio at 9.03 a week ago tonight. So we're going to start as we do every single week with my big homie, my man to my left. You know him as the man that gives you the smash every single week. We affectionately call him Big Rude. What's up, bro? Hey, man. After the show, it's the after party. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chilling, chilling. Life is good. Um, things are beautiful. You know, started phase one of, of, the, of the big move. You know, Big Rude's moving in a couple of weeks to a new a new casa. So, you it's, know, we talked about that. Did I you mean, start it, man? You start oh, packing? Man. I had to start. Sukasa? No, it's never that. Oh. So, yeah. uh, call them banks. I'm going to come to you in a minute, but I just need you to throw out something real quick. Remember when we used to hang when we were a young crew and we right. used to hang out at Big Rube's old place? You want to tell? You want to tell the pancakes and couches. <laughs> <laughs> House of pancakes and couches, <laughs> bro. Everybody hears the hate. Everybody. It's no hate. That was love. I love coming to your place. I just wanted to make sure we're gonna come back to you. We're gonna ask you some more about that. I'm gonna let him finish, but we definitely gonna get into Big Rube's houses of pancakes and couches. We're gonna let the listeners know what that's all about. Oh yes, sir. So how was the? So you packing up? You getting ready to 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 move from one abode to another? Yeah, you know, trying to trying to get that started. Every time it's a always a last minute process for Big Rube moving. So I'm trying to make sure that that process is slimmed down quite a bit. So it's not a process. It's just something to do to be done and get it over with. So you uh you already got the new place all set up, you all ready to go, you just gotta wait for that date to come along. Oh yeah, I man, I'm still clean out the old place, but you know, I'm waiting for that date and when that date happens it's gonna be a beautiful thing. You ready? It's gonna be a beautiful thing, you know. Got to watch my, my Lakers do work on Sunday. Oh, good I can't wait till I can't wait till Kato come on. Cause I know we got to talk about LA. Good and I don't grief. mean the Clippers, ladies and gentlemen. Good grief. But you know, other than that, I mean I got I got I got some stuff done this week, man. Enjoying life and you know, just stuff like that. I don't want to hear nothing about no Lakers until it's time for the basketball section. I'm Here just saying go. make I'm playoffs. Just, so I'm saying I, <laughs> That's so what I'm saying. <laughs> you so heard him. Man, you can't be hitting that nerve early, man. I mean, he's starting already. I mean, already. we can't see it. Talking about, we can't talk I, about All I got to say. And your team is terrible. All I got to say. My you team You need to wait. Don't, don't hit him yet. No, all right? No, all I'm, I'm saying, when with football season, we couldn't talk about the skins because the skins were terrible. Well. But we got to listen to the New York football giants and those whack cowboys. We'll never but, talk, but we'll never talk about the Redskins in but this But you house. know what? Right now, the Lakers are doing work, and the Lakers get their time on the shine. You know, it's funny that he, he wants to grab, you know, all the headlines in Ain't No Half Step with Marcus J and talk about the Lakers. We ain't even at the basketball segment. I, I'm going I'm going to transition away from him for a minute, Carlton, because – I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I want to talk about the Lakers. I want to say hello uh, to someone that's very special to me, my sweetheart, my baby girl, Mama J is in the building. What's up, baby girl? Nothing. How you doing today, baby? Good. Yeah? You you enjoying being in the room with Big Rube, calling Banks and Daddy? 
Yes. Good, good. Well, we're glad to have you. We appreciate whenever you come in. You know, you're the apple of my eye. I love my baby, and you give me inspiration. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to have a great show because you're here. So thank you. Daddy loves you. I love you, too. All right. Carl Banks. And you know I'm about to be sick off of that, for real. I'm saying. I mean, he got to get, he got to go on air to get the love. I'm saying. I, know, I mean, yeah. if you, I if love you, man. If you want to bring Carlton Jr. in here, have Carlton Jr. Carlton Jr. ain't going to say that. Yeah, Jr., he will. If you want to come in and bring I, Carlton Jr. Right. in here, have Carlton Jr. say how much he loves you, then, <laughs> then, then go ahead and do it. <laughs> then go ahead and do it. Big Rube, if you want to bring in someone that calls you Uncle Big Rube, and 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 have them do the same thing. You know he got a gang of kids that can do we that. Know, we know we know. Oh, oh, we, we, hey we, man, we, don't, well, talk, don't talk about the seeds of the brother. <laughs> you know, he got, he got, I'm he just got, saying, they ain't mine. But, see, see how he acts. See, act? act? see, act? see act? There you go. That's why. That's why. That's why he hated on Marcus mm-hmm. Jay for getting the love from Marcus. Why called him Banks hate? I'm not hating. I'm not hating. I hate him. That sounds like hate to me. Mm-hmm. Carl Banks loves you, man. Y'all I been do. brothers forever. So that wasn't hate. That was constructive criticism. No, I'm talking about the yeah. hate when, he, when we were talking about Mama J. Yeah, the heat, you did. <laughs> I know, right? You see, he's trying to put it on your bandwagon. jump on his he bag and jump on you, but I should be jumping on your bag, bandwagon and jump on him. Hey, you don't did. deflect like that again, all right? <laughs> see? Don't deflect. See, you like that, right? That's how it gets better, right? <laughs> he realizes how that went down just now. That's crazy. So, how's, how's, how's my brother Carlton doing, man? How you doing, brother? Hey, man. Big things going on right about now. Yeah, got the got the vehicle back, so I'm pretty happy oh, with that. Oh, give me like, the fist bump! Woo! They can't see it, they can't hear it. The but we are giving each other the fist bump for real right now. I'm glad I'm happy yeah. for you. Yeah, man, I'm happy with that, that too. But I know that presented a whole lot of stress for the bank's household. So yes, it did, and and didn't help that Sunday. The back window on the G35 blew out. Wow. The back window? The back window. That's the strong one, man. Dude, tell me about it. What's up with that? All I know, the car started. I'm in, I'm in the yard doing some yard work. Got my neighbor's new um, line um, yard hedger. And the first thing I'm thinking is, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, what's this? Urkel, right? Urkel. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, really, I, really, I really did. Did I do that? I mean, for real. But the thing about it, the window exploded from the inside. Uh, what was going on? How was that don't possible? Don't know, bro. We don't know. It won't so like. the glass so was It inside. blew out. So it blew out. It blew so, out. So most of the glass is outside the vehicle. It fell back in because of the angle. Right. But you can, if you look along the crease, right, you can see where it exploded out. Did you kick up a rock maybe when you was cutting no, grass? No, because if, if I did it, it would hit the side window, not the back window. It would have had to go through the window, and the windows were up. So do you think maybe someone from no. Banks's past who's dearly departed might have been trying you, to holler at you? You know what I think it is? No, nah, no. Nah. I think it's karma. No, nah, because it's, it's, it's wife is called. Right? You know, no, 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 not not calling on him. No, not yeah. not calling out Miss Banks, but I mean, I'm just saying, how is it that Calm Banks lose his vehicle, and right when Calm Banks get his vehicle back, the missus lose her vehicle for a little while because broken glass everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It was now what's she rolling everywhere. with? Sorry, couldn't. Oh, she, we got it. We got it fixed today. But that was Sunday. Well, that's two days. That was Sunday, and so she was down for t- for a day. She was down for a day and a half. She was not happy. Wow. And, and, and did she and feel your pain? Somehow that was your fault. You yeah, know you that, know right? it was all. It yeah, was, it was my, fault. Fault. Sure. my fault. Did she feel your pain? I don't know if she felt my pain. So wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Yesterday was Monday. So Miss Banks and Calm Banks were stuck in a house together on a work day. On all work day. day. All day. No, no wow. vehicle. With no, with no vehicle. No vehicle. <laughs> oh, and, and you live and to tell this. Can story. anyone trap? No one can leave the house. Big room. They was trapped. There's only a couple of things to be going on. Yeah. Like cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Knowing them, they was probably in opposite rooms. One was playing PlayStation. One was surfing the net for shopping. And it's crazy. She needs to really stop playing PlayStation so much. Yeah, she I does. <laughs> she does need to get off the PlayStation. Her and her Call of Duty be getting yeah, on my nerves. she's killing it. She's just mad. She better than you at it. It's Whatever. Crazy. So so everything other than that, you had a good weekend? Yeah. I've lost a good friend of mine, though. My, yeah. my brother, my partner since sixth grade. Lost yeah. him. Right. Um, big ups to Big Blackwell. I love you, man. Yeah. Um, my condolences. I know thank that you, sir. when we when we got the word, I saw um, some notes that you uh, had put out. So, uh, from ain't no half stepping with Marcus J, Big Rue, Calm Banks, and Mama J. Uh, the family here at the show want to offer our sincere condolences to you on the loss of your friend, uh, and to the TJ family on the loss of their friend, and 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 most importantly. 
uh, to his family, his immediate family. Yes, sir. Uh, who lost uh, a good man. I didn't know him, but just in the day or so that I've been able to see some of the posts and some of the things that people have said, uh, this was a good man that we that we lost. So uh, you had, you have never seen his brother mad at anybody. No, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I had to ask his wife. I said, "Jolly, you kind of like that, though, man." But you, dude, kind of a I sweet can get guy. mad. You could. You, this guy I've seen him upset. never gets mad. I'll be honest with you. I know Carlton Banks for going on 15, 15 years. years. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'll be honest with you. I'm usually the calm one in my crew, but when I'm around him, he's the calm one. When I'm about ready to have a moment, he's the one. Like a few minutes ago, you know, something annoyed me before we went on the air. And he tapped me on the shoulder. He was like, yo, where's your smile? That's this man. So I can imagine the loss that people who love this man Mm -hmm. must feel because when you had that jolly presence in your life, and I'm not calling you jolly because, you know, I pick on you. That's how we do. But when you have that positive, it's probably a better word. You have that positive presence in your life and then it's no longer there. uh, That can definitely be difficult. So, again, uh, our condolences uh, from the show uh, directly to his family. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. I have seen both of y'all upset. Though. I just want to put that out there. Well, you definitely yeah, you're seen, seen us upset. Seen we ain't seen that. The show. It's been well, upset. you know, it's funny. I think I mean, I'm the calm one. Well, it's, I mean, it's, man, it's, you know, you know what you do? I'm going to tell you. You know what You know what Big Rude does? And before Marcus J gets into his weekend, we're going to go just a few more minutes into the segment and we get into the sports roundup after a break. But you know what you, you know what, you know what Big Rube does? Wait, Big Rube, yeah, I know what he does. Big Rube is that little kid, right? This is what he does. He runs up now nah, just cuz just follow my analogy. Big Rube is that little kid that runs up to the big guy and says, "You's a punk." And punches him in his face. And runs. Runs and Big Rube's big brother comes and fights and Big Rube watches from behind the car. That's that's what you do. You start a fight and then you watch other people fight. Over the fight that you just started. That's what you do. I disagree with that. I know you do. I mean, I, I know I, you do. I don't think it's oh, that coward. It might have been. It might have been an extreme. Now, the example now, I might that I from afar. But I, I don't just have it. Oh, man, you just, you just, you killing just me saying. right now. Marcus J. Ain't no half step. And just want to go ahead, get the phone number one more time. Eight zero four 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 seven zero six zero one. We got listeners in New Jersey and Georgia and Ohio and Delaware and Maryland. We appreciate everybody who's listening. It ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. is the fastest growing show on the internet and the number one show on GlobalScaleRadio.com. Just want to go ahead and kind of share with you my weekend. First thing I wanted to say is congratulations to Mama J. Halfway to Black Belt and Taekwondo. We spent Saturday in the Dojang watching her test for her blue belt. And so she is on her way, Mama J. We're very proud of you. How 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 was things for you? Did you feel pretty good doing your test, Mama? I felt pretty good. Did you? Did you feel confident? I felt confident. Yeah. So how old do you think you'll be when you get your black belt? Nine or ten. Nine or ten. So you're almost there now, huh? So how old are you now? Eight. Yeah, eight years old. Okay, so you'll be probably almost ten years old when you get your black belt. Are you breaking bricks? Or oh, what they got you breaking? Or do you do you even do any of that? You you breaking some stuff. Tell tell the listeners what you have broken as far as you know, with your hands and your feet. Three pieces of wood. Three pieces of wood. Wow. And have you done it with only your hands or only your feet, or how are you doing it? With hands and feet. Oh, okay. What kind of kicks are you doing? Axe kicks. And and and, and hand chops. And chops with your hands. Palm strikes. Palm strikes. Good, good, man. She, yeah, she's I'm, doing, I'm she's scared doing of right, eight, And You know what's crazy about that? I got some people back in Jersey City that I need her to beat up for me that I had beat real? with when I was growing up. So that's what's up. Ain't no half step in Marcus J. That was my weekend. So my weekend was built around, you know, sitting around watching this little lady and some of the other children do their thing. Ain't no half step in Marcus J. We about to take a break. When we come back, we're going to do a little bit of the sports wrap-up talk about some of the things that happened in the world of sports in the last couple of days since we last talked to you. We'll be back in a minute. Ain't no half step with Marcus Jack. Feel 